Hey guys, the Yala testnet is live and today I will be showing you how to interact with the testnet to end berries. The more berries you end, the greater the testnet progress. You can end berries via testnet interactions and engaging with Yala on Twitter. So the first thing to do is to visit the Yala testnet using the link in the description. For this testnet, you will need your BTC wallet and your EVM wallet. I recommend using OKX wallet because it supports both Bitcoin testnet and Sekudo. That's why you don't have to switch between two different wallets when interacting with the testnet. Once you visit the Yala testnet page, the first thing to do is to connect your wallet. So you need to connect your wallet to the BTC testnet and to Sepulia. To connect your wallet to Sepulia, click Connect Destination Chain Wallet. Agree to the terms and conditions, select your preferred wallet which will be OKX wallet in this case, accept the connection request in your wallet, accept the signature request, and now you are connected to Sepulia. Next thing is to connect to the Bitcoin testnet, so click connect BTP wallet, choose a wallet, which is OKX in this case, accept the approval request, and now you are connected to the Bitcoin testnet and Sepulia. The next thing to do is to connect your Twitter since you'll also be earning berries for engaging with Yala on Twitter. So click get started and we've already completed the first step which is connecting our wallet. We'll go back to process later so we'll go to step 2, click go to step 3 and this is where you provide your Twitter username. So start with the ask button followed by your Twitter username. Once you've provided it, click submit and now your Twitter will be connected to the Yala testnet. Now that you've connected your wallet and your Twitter, it's time to claim some test tokens. To claim test ads, click on this button, enter the amount of ads you would like to receive between 0.01 and 0.05, click submit and now some test ads will be sent to your wallet. To claim test BTC, click on this button here. Enter the amount of BTC you want to receive. You can select between 0.002 to 0.01 BTC. Click submit. This may take some time, so if you don't get it immediately, don't panic. Click OK. The Ether and Bitcoin you'll be claiming from this faucet are on Sepulia, which is different from the TBTC on the Bitcoin testnet, which we'll be using to make transactions. So to convert the YBTC from Sepulia, to your TBTC on your BTC testnet, visit your portfolio. In your portfolio, you can see how much YBTC you claim. To convert this YBTC to your TBTC on the BTC testnet, click return your assets and enter the amount of the YBTC you want to convert to the BTC testnet. So in this case, I want to convert everything. So here you can see right now I have 0 0.09 TBTC on the BTC testnet. If I switch to Sepolia, you can see my YBTC here. You can add the YBTC to your wallet by clicking on Add YBTC and accept the approval request from your wallet. Now the YBTC will be added to your Sepolia wallet. You can confirm this by opening your OKX wallet, switching your network to Sepolia by clicking on the network drop down menu here and typing Sepolia. Click on Sepulia and you see YBTC here. So it's not useful to you on this testnet until you convert it to TBTC on the BTC testnet. I have seen complaints from many people saying I've claimed from the Yellow faucet, but I can't see any TBTC in my wallet. That's because you are claiming test tokens on Sepulia, which you will need to convert to TBTC on the BTC testnet. So after entering the amount of the YBTC you want to convert to TBTC on BTC testnet, click submit. Accept the approval request in your wallet, and now the transaction is in process. This will also take some time because it's on BTC testnet, so you can view the transaction history here. So you can see that my conversion from YBTC to TBTC is still in process. So once this conversion is complete, you will notice that your TBTC balance will increase on your BTC testnet. All right, after a few minutes, my transaction is complete. So I have converted my YBTC to TBTC. I can confirm that by going to my wallet. Remember I had about 0.095 TBTC and 
about 0.041 YBTC. So everything should add up. If I open my OPX wallet, I'm on Sepolia. You can see that my YBTC balance is zero. If I switch to the BTC testnet, you can see that my TBTC balance has increased accordingly. So this is how you claim your test tokens from the Yela faucet. You claim your YBTC and add on Sepolia and you convert your YBTC to TBTC on the BTC testnet. Remember, the Yela testnet is on BTC testnet. Why the faucet is on Sepolia, and that's why you need to connect your EVM wallet and your Bitcoin wallet. So you can claim test tokens from the Yela dashboard on Sepolia and interact with the Yela testnet on BTC testnet. Hopefully, this clears up any confusion you may be having as regards why you will need to connect your EVM wallet since all your transactions will be on the Bitcoin testnet. You can always verify your assets in your OKX wallet by opening your OKX wallet. Click on this drop down menu at the top right to select a network. Type BTC in the search bar and you will see the BTC test net. So select BTC test net and now you can see your assets on the BTC test net. To add TBTC, click on add and click on this plus icon to add TBTC. Go back and now you can see your TBTC balance. There are also other faucets for claiming. CBTC on the Bitcoin testnet. So follow the link in the description and you'll find this faucet with your link. So all you have to do is to click on each of them, provide your address, and get your test token. You can copy your Bitcoin address by opening your OPX wallet. Click on this network drop down menu at the top right. If you're on mobile, you will see a browser icon next to the notification icon at the top right. So that will also allow you to select the network. Type BTC in the search bar and select the BTC testnet. Click on the copy icon here to copy your BTC testnet address. You can also copy your address by clicking on receive, clicking on TBTC, and clicking on the copy address icon. So this is the address you use to receive the TBTC from any faucet you be using. So these faucets are pretty easy to use. All you have to do is to visit the links and provide your testnet address. But one of the faucets that I want to talk about because it may be a bit tricky is the alt quick faucet. This is my favorite faucet because it gives the most amount of TBTC and you can claim once every 10 minutes. But you will need to sign up on the alt quick exchange to use the faucet. So once you open the link, ensure to sign up. To sign up, click register, provide your details, complete the capture, and click sign me up. So once you've signed up, visit the faucet link again. Provide your username here, complete the capture, and scroll down till you find the Get Bitcoin Testnet 3 and click Get TBTC. So let me show you. So now I've completed my capture and I click on Get TBTC under the Bitcoin Testnet 3. Each time you use this Bitcoin Testnet 3 faucet, you will get 0 0.001 TBTC. So this TBTC will be deposited to your Altquick account which will have to return to the wallet you're using for the Yala test because this is an exchange account. So to view your deposit, click on the Outquick deposit page and you can see the TBTC that has been paid to your Outcome account. If you don't have a TBTC address, you have to generate one here. Click generate and you see your TBTC address generated. To withdraw your TBTC to your wallet, click withdraw and click select coin to withdraw. Now click on Bitcoin Testnet 3, there's a withdrawal fee of 0.01 TBTC, but the faucet drips 0.001 TBTC every 10 minutes. This means you need to use the faucet at least 11 times to be able to withdraw any TBTC, since your withdrawal fee is 10 times what you'll be getting per faucet drip. So I recommend claiming from the faucet multiple times before each withdrawal so you don't waste your TBTC in fees. So to withdraw, enter the amount of TBTC you want to withdraw. As you can see here, I have 0.09 TBTC available, which means I can only withdraw 0.08 TBTC. Enter the amount of TBTC you want to withdraw, paste your TBTC address here, and click withdraw. So now your withdrawal has been submitted, and in a few minutes, you will see your TBTC in your wallet. Combine the alt quick faucet with the other faucets to get a reasonable amount of TBTC to use for the Yala test.
Now that you know how to set up your wallet and claim your test tokens, you can now get to business. On the Yellow Test Net, you can earn berries by depositing BTC, minting U token, by staking BTC, staking the U token, and by liking or retweeting Yellow's recent three days tweets. This means that tweet that you like or retweet must not be older than three days. To deposit BTC, click on the Meta Mint U menu. You also find the link in the description. Enter the amount of BTC you want to deposit. You see your BTC balance here. Enter the amount of U token you want to mint. You can click on Max to mint the maximum U tokens from your deposit. Click Print Box. Accept the transaction request in your wallet. And now your transaction is in process. This transaction can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few days. So once you see this prompt, you can click OK to close it or click on transaction history to view your transaction history. You can see I have one failed transaction here and one that was completed after almost 40 hours. Once your vault has been created, you will see that your transaction is complete in your transaction history. You can then stake your U tokens. To stake your U tokens, click on portfolio and click stake U. Enter the amount of U you want to stake and click stake. Save the approval request to your wallet. And now your staking is successful. You can view your staking history by clicking on the staking history. And here you can see all your stakes. You can also view your positions by clicking positions. You can also provide feedback. So click this button, provide your email address, upload a screenshot, write your feedback here. Once you're done, click send feedback and you end 10 berries and feedback. Another thing you can do to end berries is to check in daily. Click on berries and leaderboard and click check in. Now I've checked in, so I click OK. You can check in once every 24 hours. You can also invite your friend and you earn 15% of the berries they make. To copy your invite link, click on the copy icon and use the link to invite your friend. You can also see how many berries you've earned and view the leaderboard to see your position. Yellow Finance also has a Gax quest. So visit the link in the description and complete the quest. There is a quiz in the quest and you'll find the answers in the description. For every 0.001 BTC you deposit, you earn one berry per hour. For every one U token you mint, you earn 0.05 berries per hour. For every one U token you stake, you earn 0.01 berries per hour. And for every one like or retweet on Yellow's recent three days tweets, you earn one berry. The more berries you earn, the greater your test net reward. So that's it about the Yela test net for now. If this video has helped you, like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any issues, ask for help in my Telegram group. The link to the group is in the description. Join my Telegram channel for more Yela test net updates, crypto airdrops, tips, and tutorials. If you haven't joined the Center Test Net, check out this video at the top of your screen to help you get started. There are also lots of other test nets you can join. You'll find the link in the description. So visit the link and join as many of these test nets as you can. Xenia has also launched your airdrop campaign. So check out this video description, sign up, and start claiming gems every day. Don't forget, you're still in the season of Telegram airdrops. So check out the bonus section of this video description and sign up on some of the hottest telegram airdrops today. So keep ending your berries on the yellow test net every day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.